going on? Chilling out here at my freaking camp. This thing's pretty nice, man. That's kind of like my freaking uh, little monument right here, man. My little public monument. Uh, I know the cats like it. The kids in the neighborhood like it. I like it. It was uh, some good therapy. Good therapy session. Freaking finished yet, but uh, it's a work in progress. You know, like isn't everything. <laughs> but uh, basically, it's kind of my personal way to encourage people to become bad MFers, man. Because uh, being a bad MFer doesn't necessarily mean that you're a problem. It's actually it means that you can solve these problems. And you'll use your freaking brain and your common sense. And, uh, you know, you'll see, instead of seeing so everything as a problem, you'll start to see solutions. And you just see a problem as another opportunity to, to figure it out, uh, you know, or to, it's a new puzzle to test yourself and push yourself to new new heights or whatever, or new places that uh, are good for development and growth, and freaking, uh, you can unlock some of that, uh, hidden potential, and, uh, you know, like, uh, just by people seeing it, and, uh, the kids helping, I know I got a lot of positive feedback from the kid, uh, he was like, he had a dream that he had a protection bubble, and he was in this camp, he said, freaking, uh, it was pretty, uh, it was good, uh, it was good, uh, confirmation that I guess I, this must have been my, uh, for the moment, it was just meant to be, everything was all there, just for, uh, me to bust out, that just, like, kind of crack out of this kind of, like, uh, I don't know, like, uh, plateau, because in a way, I was kind of plateaued out, and I can see that now, like, uh, because I could have done this a long time ago, but for some reason, I was so bogged up that, uh, I forgot, <laughs> in a way, and, uh, uh life just offer, offered me this freaking opportunity, man, to, uh, uh, you know, uh, make the best out of it, out of a crappy time, man. I like, like how everything looks, though. Just being out here is kind of therapeutic. <laughs> what up, buddy? I seen a cool looking hawk over there in this field earlier. <laughs> what a little kiki. Yeah, this is actually an excellent spot right here. It's a good spot to for contemplation and chillaxing. And hey man, if you're a scoper and a peeper. You know, same thing, a nice vantage point. To, you can see a lot, but you're kind of obscured yourself, kind of, you know. I 
I like looking at things and seeing the pros and cons and analyzing it. Uh, I mean, my brain just has a tendency to do it on its own. It's not like I consciously even do it. It just kind of, it's all on the subcon. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Programming type tip. That's the thing, you know, hey, here's the thing, you know, if we've been brainwashed to not see things, well, you can also unbrainwash yourself, dude, by, uh, by, uh, study and practice, basically, and willpower and, uh, uh, determination, man, because frickin', that's the, one of the harder ones, man, is to keep yourself motivated despite all the blow back backlash and just life's freaking sucks and it's not a beach type situation uh that will kind of like uh, most of the time will stop you know y your whole thing and you got to fight for the right to party for a fucking reason man uh so I always, you know, am reminded of that. If Just when I'm having too much fucking fun, I get reminded and put in check that. Wait a second. You gotta fucking fight for your right to party, man. And, you know, I mean that metaphorically and philosophically, not literally. You know what I'm talking about? So, I hope you catch my drift. And you don't uh, take me out of freaking context like most people do. Because they're... A whole legalist, and that's why you got to be a bad mf'er in general. And when you uh, crack people's minds open and, and make them like more common sensual, like common sense, quick to like, uh, if you got a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Use our common freaking sense. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, and uh, get her done, and and we don't have to just go through long. Verbal contracts, uh, wasting energy and time, just blowing smoke up each other's bunghole. You know what I'm saying? That's like, uh, you know, I've tried that before, and it just is, uh, it's immature. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like it says that, like, I was listening to Proverbs, and it's like, better for a man to hang out in a freaking field than in, in the house with a contentious freaking woman. You know? Under a wide roof with a contentious woman, man. I mean, freaking, it's just freaking hilarious. But it's not. <laughs> uh, but anyway, this is uh, freaking uh, my uh, therapy right at the moment. My therapy regimen is just staying uh, like somewhat productive. <laughs> in a different kind of way. Because I don't get to do what I regularly would be doing. Which kind of... Kind of freaking sucks, but it's actually I kind of needed a freaking I guess a freaking long chillax anyway from certain stressors, from uh, common stresses of uh, just a uh, rat rat wheel type. You know, you know we all gotta do stuff to survive, man. Uh, so you can't have too much fun, like I said, man. Freaking anyway. Unless what you do for a living is kind of fun, which would be nice, but it's not always like that. So, some people might be lucky enough, man, but sometimes it is, but sometimes it ain't, man. It is what it is, buddy. But, here I am right now, and, uh, like I said, being a man of my word, and I said I would make another vid on the, on the uh, progression type deal on my secret project, and, uh, to be continued. <laughs>